Hey guys, this is Dabs Nishma. So in today's tutorial, we'll take a look at when to use the card container tool in Visible Web Builder. So the card container tool has been part of version 50 for some time now, and this allows you to only position cards in it. And the reason why you might want to use the card container as compared to that of layout grid is very simple. Let me just go ahead and show you. But before I continue with that, the card container behaves just like a layout grid. It has a fluid property that allows you to position just cards in it. Now back to why you might want to use card container as compared to that of the grid for your cards is that using layout grid doesn't allow you to create odd number of columns with the same size or so. If I want to create five columns in here, I, there's no way I can have equal sizes for each column with my um, grid over here. So let me just try to do this. So you realize that there's 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 chances of have me having equal sides over here or equal columns over here is very low. That's one challenge when you are using grid with any object at all. Now, especially when using the card to here. And you want to use uh, maybe you want to have odd number of um, columns it is very easier to go about when you are using the card container to here so once you bring the card container to and then you double click on it there are a couple of options or properties over here so the card mode over here you have card deck card columns and then carousel so the card deck automatically aligns each and every card object to you position in it that's both horizontally and vertically and this is what i mean so let me just duplicate this so once I move this in here and then I move this and then I move this also, you realize that I create the same size for all the cards that I have position in it, irrespective of what content it might be contained in the card. Now, when I come back and then I change this to, let's say columns, I have the chance of specifying the number of columns I want to create. And then I also have the chance of, you know, um, I get some kind of um, spacing around um, the, the card container in here that is if i'm using columns now why you might want to be using the card container is that for this particular um object you're allowed to create um that is odd number of columns so let's say if i want to create five columns i can do that and then i can bring in more card objects here and as you can see this is five if i want to create um seven i can go ahead to create that so you realize that this is very simple to use as compared to that of using the layout grid especially depending on the kind of design you are working on and then finally you also have an option with uh, the card container that's carousel which gives you some kind of slider property where you can create a number of slides you want per the object you position in the um, co card container and then once you preview it it becomes some sort of um, a slider so which is going to move um, based on let me just go ahead and implement this let me just paste more in it to so realize I have um, two uh, more or less like two slides so it takes some um, depending on the duration you specified if I go ahead to click on this you click on this you realize that the slides to the next um, that slide and my card container so that's basically how to go about using the card container so just like i said earlier depending on what kind of design you're working you might want to choose between using the card container for a card object as compared to that of the layout grid object